Hi! Welcome to part 1 of my review featuring Mutant Year Zero. This is the physical book, role playing at the end of days. This is the reprinted core book. Free League Publishing has reprinted all of the core books because even though this is a standalone RPG, there are three other games in the same universe. And of course, this is also available as a PDF. If you need more information, please check out the links in the description. So what is Mutant Year Zero about? This is post-apocalypse. There was this great apocalypse and humanity has survived as mutants, at least when it comes to this RPG, because in the fourth RPG, I forget the name, you actually play as humans that live in a dystopia, but here you are survivors whose bodies have adapted to their wrecked setting, to the devastated land that they inhabit. Now let's talk about the quality of the book. The quality is exquisite. This is a sturdy hardcover book. The hardcover feels slightly porous to the touch, but when it comes to the logo itself, it is quite smooth. The back of the front cover and the back cover have maps, so you can reference those maps as you move through the world if you wish. Everything is well written, organized and explained. I especially like it that the table of contents is divided in the player's section and the game master's section, so you won't run into any spoilers. The illustrations are perfect, they are gritty, bleak, in a graphic novel style. There is a sharp contrast between shadows and the different tones of colors, somewhat muted. This is not a happy setting, it is quite potentially depressing. So you need the sturdiest of adventurers, of explorers, or stalkers, because there is a lot of influence when it comes to Roadside Picnic, serving as inspiration for this RPG. You even go into the zone. So overall, the quality is perfect. Now let's talk about the contents. So what is the premise? You are mutants, humans that have adapted to their environment due to chemicals, radiation, experiments, it could be anything. Nobody knows exactly why you are mutants. That's part of the mystery and for the game master's eyes only. Suffice to say, you are explorers sent out into the zone, into the dangerous places of the world in order to secure resources, survivability for your settlement, for the Ark. So you need ammo, you need weapons, you need water and food. In this world, clean water is a luxury. You also need to form alliances. There are coalitions, factions, and if you lack the manpower and the firepower, you may need to ally yourself with someone else or hire someone else to protect you in some situations. The book starts with a great introduction to tabletop role-playing games, for the most part. There is a weird part at the end that is similar to the RPG introduction to Dragonbane. There is an error when they say that tabletop role-playing games are storytelling games, but they are not. You are not telling a story about the characters. You are living the experience as the player characters, and in the case of the Game Master, as the world itself. Please check out my RPG Essential Concepts playlist in the description of this video. There can exist tabletop role-playing games that are also storytelling games, but they are hybrids, they are not the core idea of tabletop role-playing. Now, they inform you about the role of the Game Master, the players, even here it says the players describe their actions, and the Game Master runs the entire world, the non-player characters, the objects, the threats, anything that you find in the world. You are not telling a story. This is not Bob the mutant aims his weapon and fires at the enemy, the enemy dies and Bob wins, he jumps up and down, no. It even says here that the players decide what their characters do, but not the outcome. Then you have information on how this game is all about obtaining resources, unraveling the mysteries of the world, because there is this Eden a place of myth and legend, a paradise amidst hell, but it is only a rumor perhaps, 
That's part of the meta plot. You also have information on how you need to protect your settlement, how the gameplay sometimes focuses on your small band of mutants, or sometimes on the entire arc itself. You are going to be protecting and building your settlement. There are official cards and dice for this tabletop RPG, but they are not necessary. You can play this with six-sided dice. You only have a few symbols in the official dice that represent the six and the one, so it's very simple to understand. And when it comes to the cards, they represent mutations, threats and artifacts, but all of that information is included in this book and can easily be randomized through tables. You also have tips and advice on how to handle time skips, focusing the action on a single character that perhaps separated himself or herself from the group. You also have a quick start guide of first creating your player characters, then choosing the zone and creating the arc, and when you are done you are ready to play, and so forth. You also have what happens in a typical session, that is, bringing out your map of the zone, character sheets, dice, etc., adding a number of new mutations equal to the number of mutations that you have, holding an assembly, and a few other things. We will talk in greater detail about all of that in the upcoming parts of this review. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to talk about your mutant. When it comes to this role-playing game standing apart from other post-apocalypse games, this is heavily focused on the survivability of a community. This is not just about your band of mutant adventurers, this is also about the lives of an entire settlement and the mysteries of the world. Thank you for watching this part of the review, and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you, and see you later.